Hello once again. In the next minutes we will try to understand the main strategies used to improve indoor environments for buildings. Some of these strategies are used by all professionals, architects. These strategies can help improve the quality of the built environment, on building level and urban level. Okay, let's start explaining them. Keep tuned in. This figure illustrates effective cross-ventilation strategies for buildings. By opening windows on opposite or all sides, airflow is maximized, creating a cooling cross breeze. Wider openings and fans further enhance circulation, promoting a naturally refreshed and comfortable indoor environment. This image showcases how architectural design harmonizes with wind to achieve natural ventilation. Wind flows over and around the building, guided by balconies, overhangs, and trees, creating a refreshing breeze within the structure. This passive cooling approach fosters energy efficiency and a comfortable living environment. This image illustrates a multi-level ventilation strategy, combining natural and mechanical methods for optimal air circulation and temperature control. Cool air enters through lower openings, while warm air escapes from the top, creating a natural upward airflow. A central atrium and mechanical systems further enhance ventilation, ensuring a comfortable and healthy indoor environment. Also, this image depicts a multi-level ventilation strategy, combining natural and mechanical methods for optimal air circulation and temperature control. Cool air enters through lower openings, while warm air escapes from the top, creating a natural upward airflow. A central atrium and mechanical systems further enhance ventilation, ensuring a comfortable and healthy indoor environment. On the other hand, the image within demonstrates how tree arrangement affects wind flow and building ventilation. Scenario A shows a tall tree blocking wind, reducing airflow. Scenario B shows a bush allowing more wind, enhancing ventilation. Strategic landscaping can optimize natural ventilation for a comfortable and energy-efficient living space. Also, the benefits of windbreaks, depicted as trees shielding a house from strong winds. Windbreaks offer protection against wind damage, reduce soil erosion, provide shade, improve air quality, and enhance wildlife habitat. They are valuable assets for agriculture, homes, and land management. Next are some of the effective natural ventilation and sun protection strategies for buildings in hot climates. Strategically placed openings promote air circulation, while overhangs, louvers, and vegetation provide shade. Deciduous and evergreen trees offer seasonal shade, while vegetation creates cooler outdoor spaces. These techniques ensure comfortable indoor temperatures, reduce energy consumption, and promote sustainability. Next is a stack ventilation system, which is a natural ventilation strategy using buoyancy and pressure differences to circulate air within a building. Warm air rises, creating a low-pressure zone that draws in cool air from lower openings. Warm air escapes through upper openings, creating a continuous airflow. Building design optimizes this process for a comfortable and energy-efficient indoor environment. To improve a building's environmental design, the architect needs to lay on a bioclimatic winter strategy for a building, by utilizing passive design elements for a comfortable and energy-efficient environment. A green roof provides insulation and rainwater absorption. Solar chimneys create natural ventilation. Strategically placed windows optimize solar gain. The building's orientation maximizes sunlight exposure. Mechanical heating systems supplement warmth. This combination ensures indoor comfort while minimizing energy consumption. Building ventilation systems fall into two main categories. Natural ventilation, utilizing natural forces like wind and temperature differences, and mechanical ventilation, using fans and ducts for controlled airflow. Natural ventilation strategies include cross, stack, and wind-driven ventilation. Mechanical ventilation systems include supply, exhaust, and balanced ventilation. 
The choice depends on factors like location, climate, occupancy, and indoor air quality requirements.